Yes guys, Diljar here, and I played in a charity match with the likes of Danny Aarons, Zane QF, Angry Ginge, FG, and I'm going to be showing you how well I did in the charity match. If you do happen to enjoy this video and you're new around here, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. But before we get into the video, I have some announcements to make. From next week, I am going to be playing free charity matches. Yes, free weekends, free charity matches, and let me tell you about them. The first charity match is going to be on the 29th of April. The second charity match is going to be on the 6th of May, and the third and final charity match is going to be on the 13th. The one on the 29th of April is going to be Awareness for Andy's Man's Club, and this charity match is going to be played at North Ferriby Football Club. North Ferriby Football Club is near Ferriby or the Hull area, so basically up north. The second charity match is going to be in Worthing, Worthing FC, near Brighton and that's going to be right down south and the third and final one the content creators cup team tiktok versus team youtube the finale of that charity match will be played in Ilkenston near Nottingham so if you're anywhere near those kind of areas and you can at least make it to one of the games I'd really appreciate you guys to do it and obviously all the profits go to charity but if you can't because of whatever reason or you don't live in the UK you can watch them online if you go down to the link in the description you can see all three social medias for the charity match so make sure you follow up and look at the information there. Now, let's get on to the Team Cat versus Team Dragon charity match. All right, now all the players are walking out. But if you notice to the right a little bit, you can see me talking to a certain someone, Danny Aarons. Now, let me tell you what I said to, to Danny Aarons. You've got a GoPro on, but all that GoPro is going to see is me cooking you. If you see Danny Aarons' video, you can see what I said. I'll actually put a clip of it now. All that GoPro is going to see is just me cooking you. No, it's going to happen. I'll cover up. I'll cover up. <laughs> but yeah, nah, that was pretty funny. To be fair, before the game, I did have an injury, unfortunately. But you know what? Like, I don't really want to use it in as, as an excuse. But I mean, yeah, at the end of the day, I, I was injured, to be fair. It wasn't great and it wasn't ideal. But you know what? I still wanted to play on because obviously I don't want to miss out on a charity match. It's not that serious. There we go. He's kicked off and Dragons is there. Look at me. I'm already pressing. We're getting ready to play ball. Look at that. We already won the ball. Early on in the game, I have a touch. I literally play it out to my brother, Emerson. Emerson plays it to Charlie Morley. Ah, but he can't control it. Carl Allen's on the ball now. We're very, very early into the game. The pool guy runs. I see him running. I've got to try to run into the box. It deflects off that guy and I shoot and it gets saved. Oh, I could not believe that it went in. Can we get a replay of that? Because honestly, I thought as soon as it landed here, I thought, yeah, goal easily. Try to tap it in, but the keeper saves it with his leg. I thought I already scored just then and then FG clears it out. We have a corner. I go and oh, I head it down, but it's cleared off the line. Renico gets there to me first. I'm battling with the ball. But Here we go. he nearly not megged me, but I ball. did stop it. Oh my gosh. They, I can't lie. Renico is a big baller. Shout out to Renico. Oh, it gets thrown and Danny Aarons falls on the floor. And then Charlie Morley is breaking away now. Charlie Morley gets tackled by Luke Solves. I try. I get there before Reeve. Honestly, Reeve is such a hard player to play against. I play it to Emerson. Kind of a hospital weak pass, to be honest. Emerson's still got the ball, though. Tries to cross it in. And Sammy D ah, just flashes wide. Unlucky. Look at that. In the dark vlogs, he's got the ball now. He sees that he can drive. Me and Emerson and in the dark vlogs. Em battles it out. And in the dark vlogs, literally. Listen, I'm going to tell you this right now, yeah. For free, this is a dive. <laughs> Did you see that little movement? I couldn't believe it. It was definitely a dive. It was a smart dive. If I'm if I'm being 100% honest with myself, it was a very, very smart dive from End of Dark Vlogs. And he gets the penalty. I couldn't believe it. Honestly, I was so bad. Emerson knew what he did. Kind of knew what he did. He did put a bit of pressure on him. But at the end of the day, it was a dive. Adrian, listen, you know yourself. It was a dive. Come on, you know it was a dive. But fair play to you. You still get one the pen. How the dragon is literally going to step up and take the pen. How the dragon steps up. And packs the pen to be fair. Bottom right corner. Cow celebrates what they are 1 0 up now. Honestly, to be fair, shout out to, to the Cow Dragon because the Cow Dragon that I played last year 
and the Cal Dragon I played this year. Slight improvement. Like, he actually wasn't that nervous. Like, he was actually around the ball. And obviously, the pen was slotted. I'm not even going to cap. He actually did sick. Fair play. But yeah, shout out to Cal Dragon. He actually did quite well. But they are 1 0 up now. Literally, me, Jelani, and Emerson all just telling, listen, we got to turn it up. Because we did need to turn it up. Things weren't really in our control. HS Tiki Toki blows the whistle and we go again. Controlled by Lil JR. Me, I tried to outpace Danny Aarons. I could have done it, but my touch was too poor. Ball gets thrown out. Jack Charlton has now got the ball. Pays the ball guy back to Jack Charlton. Jack Charlton's looking for options. He sees a ball through to Jelani and Jelani... Of course he's slotting it. It's JTEX for a reason. JTEX being the main man. JTEX is actually too gold. I can't lie. After a goal from JTEX, things kick off again. And Zane QF tries to play a long ball, but it doesn't work. I get the ball again. And Reeve honestly just tackles me. Like I said, Reeve is so solid. Easily one of the best YouTube footballers I have played against. Defa. Jack Charlton tries to play it to me. But Charlie Moy miscontrols. Seth Marshy literally tackles again. And then... Goes through to ZQF. ZQF is through on goal. Can he score? But it's offside. It was a good finish from ZQF to be fair, but unfortunately it was offside. Yep, it's me. I turn. I go. I was literally about to drive and then crunch. I've been crunched by Danny Aarons. But this is what I mean, but I couldn't really run or control the ball. Like literally, normally I'm bursted away by now, but I was way too slow and Danny Aarons just absolutely crunches me. It was a really good tackle, but I can't lie. I need to get my get back though. And this is the very moment I get my get back. Jelani takes a, such a beautiful touch. Gets it across to the pool guy. The pool guy doesn't take the best touch. Squares it to me and I score. Of course I score. And I do my iconic gun mask, of course. Listen, I'm that guy. In front of goal, that's me. I'm that guy. I've scored and I've backed. If we look at this goal again, this goal was very, very good. It took a, a decent finish, to be fair. I had Danny Aarons in front of me, and I think the keeper slightly got a hand to it. Obviously, cold celebration. Had to do the gun mask, and we are back for it to be in 2-1 as well. I had to do a little A for Af1, of course, because he did ask me previously before the match. And I said, yeah, I'll if you don't know Af1, he's one of the guys that plays with me on Pro Club. Another good ball. He sees, he sees me as an option, but... Oh, I just can't reach it. Honestly, this is what, what I meant by the injury did kind of affect me. Normally, I do reach those, but to be honest, it just was too thingy. And I maybe should have gone with my head instead of the my foot. But you know what? It is what it is. A very, very good ball. And I really should have got to that. Sammy D gets the ball to me. He plays it. And I lost the ball. But listen... Can we just appreciate the way I sent Danny Aaron to it? Listen, I've already made edits about it, but I sent my man to the shop. <laughs> Let's be real here. That's a vio. There should not be that much space between me, the ball, and Danny Aaron's. I'm sorry. Danny, you kind of got cooked. I'm going to be real. I, I got my get back. Luke Solf Collectible has the ball. He's driving forward, looks up for options, plays it to Zane QF, and Zane QF chips the goalkeeper. Can't lie. Very, very beautiful from the main man himself zane qf what a guy and what a baller he is i can't lie he did he can cook he, he is sick he's very very sick balling out as well whilst doing ramadan you gotta respect it that's why he's the guy man jtex looks up to me sees me i was like oh i might take a touch but danny Aarons did intervene and i try to take a volley but i did miss but honestly it was things like this like i was trying to continue playing on but the injury was low-key getting to me and honestly look i tried to turn but it didn't work but I nearly lost the ball and I got it back. And look, I'm I'm trying to play calmly. I like Plute 93. Come on, my guy. Plute 93. What a ball, to be fair. Two <coughs> in the pool. The pool guy always making that run. Jelani makes a run through. Charlie Mooley's in the box. But I'm running there. He sees me. I thought I'd shoot first time and the bubble got to me. I can't even lie. But to be fair, it was just one of them ones. Blue 93 plays the ball through to Charlie Morley. Can he make it 3 2? He fake shots. Oh, it goes wide, unfortunately. Sammy D takes a touch. And then Matt Nutt literally gets the ball. He plays me through. I'm absolutely outpacing Danny all day. Literally control it. Plays it through to Jelani. I think Jelani wanted to shoot. Heard the pool guy's call and the pool guy has to finish there. Oh, but it's unlucky. I can't even lie. I, I really expected a goal there. But unfortunately, we didn't get the goal. But it is what it is. Although I wanted to win, at the end of the day, it is a charity match. <laughs> so you kind of got to... There's kind of not a serious factor to it. And honestly, this is what I meant. But I was kind of getting tired at this point. Like, literally, the injury was kind of getting to me. 
Like, normally, I'd just try to drive down the right, but I just couldn't. Plute, Plute, I love you, but the way you actually nearly slipped over cat leg, his ankles low-key broke. J200 took a shot, but <laughs> it was a comfortable save. Nothing has really happened this second half, but we got a chance. Nathan Woolley plays in. JTX with a lovely flick. Can Emerson finish it? Off the post. Honestly, I was so, I felt so bad for my brother. What a flick from JTX, by the way. That was insane. And then not really an easy finish for Emerson. Off the bounce as well. Team Dragon have got a free kick now. He crosses it in. And Angry Ginge gets his goal. But it's offside and he's very angry. But Angry Ginge by nature, he was not happy about the decision. But was he right though? If we look and pause it to when he's about to kick it, he's not offside. Even when he's just kicked it, he's not offside at all. I think he might have called the off because Zane QF was off. But Zane, does Zane interfere with play? No, he doesn't. He doesn't at all. So I think he, that goal really should have stood because can't lie, he was not off at all. In the dark vlogs now has a free kick. Look at that. Bro, he's ready to step up. Like, he's Cristiano Ronaldo, but he slips. That was out for a corner. But after the corner, Jelani volleys it to me. I'm just waiting for the ball to come. I'm waiting for Jelani's run. Jelani runs through with his pace. Keeps it. Cuts it back. It goes falls to the poor guy. And the poor guy flashes it over. I couldn't believe it. After such a massive counterattack, I just couldn't believe it. Anyway, Emerson plays it short. Sammy D sends him to the shop and he plays it through Carl Allen Reg on the box and it was a strike for the Brexit CB himself I've jumped on him I'm so happy for him honestly what a guy honestly off the pitch and on the pitch such a lovely lad when I played right back last year in the charity match he was such a good help for me like make sure I was in the right level with the defensive line he actually kind of taught me how to defend better so shout out to him but honestly what a strike look at the strike and obviously you can see, look at the even look at even the celebration. He knew he just striked that so perfectly. Very happy for him. And what a guy. And what a, what a character he is. A free kick after an Ace Musa foul. I don't know why they didn't show it. But the FG steps up. <laughs> this is FG. <laughs> just absolutely flashes it over. I can't lie. I don't think that free kick was 10 yards. But you know what? Unlucky from the lad. Tries to play a short free kick quickly. Nathan Woolley. Can he kill the game off right here, right now? And he flashes it over. It's unlucky. Raj plays a through ball like he's KDB. Zane trips him up, but the ref calls it and Zane has put it wide. Honestly, on my life, I was the most shocked. Like, I was so shocked, right? I think the bobble genuinely might have taken it wide. I, he couldn't believe it. No one else could believe it. Matt Nutt gets the ball off Viper. Chill the cat. Kicks it. What the hell? Literally, Zane QF scored the ball. I'm running back. Danny Aarons literally miscontrols it. I put in a tackle. And he gives a pen. Listen, I'm going to tell you right here, right now. This is never a pen. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. On my life, I could not believe it. This was not a foul. He has slipped on the ball and dived. And I just couldn't believe it. I just couldn't believe it. You can see, <laughs> look at my reaction. I'm so pissed because literally I never dive in unless I'm guaranteed to get the ball and I have got the ball. Listen, let me know in the comments if you thought that was a pen because I'm telling you now that is never a pen in any... Literally, I wish that was VAR. I wish that was VAR. Can Danny Aarons make it free all and have the game potentially go to pens? Danny Aarons steps up. Can Danny Aarons finish? And he's flashed it wide. I couldn't believe it as well. Another let off. I couldn't believe it. Danny Aarons just absolutely put in the bottom left. Tried to put it in the bottom left, but he literally hit it wide. It was absolutely insane. But straight after the penalty, Carl Allen tries to play it to me, but it plays straight to ZQF. ZQF goes and scores and it's free all. Oh, and it looks like the game is going to bend. Zayn has clutched up for his team. Massive doggy pile. Literally, all the all the fans have come onto the pitch. The security are getting crazy and mad angry. But honestly, God deserves that. Good, decent pressure from Danny Aarons, to be fair. But that Zane knew he had to finish this. He knew he had to finish this. Fair play. Shout out to Zane. And yeah, 
I couldn't believe it. It now goes to penalties. Right, the penalty shootout begins. Dave, the other guy, got man of the match in the charity match last year. To be fair, in the Team Cat versus the Team Dragon, can he be a hero for Team Cat yet again? Dave, the other guy, steps up. And it's a great save by Jason Davenport. Jason Davenport becomes a hero. And look at that. He's even doing the Conor McGregor walk. FG steps up. And he slots it. To be fair, Joel doesn't dive. Very, very good. Plu93 steps up to take a penalty. Plu93 steps up. And he hits the post. Post 93. Post 93. <laughs> Ah, post 83. Is it post 93, 83? I kind of forgot his username. I'm so sorry, Blue. I, I do love you, though. J200. J200. With a great pen, to be fair. Beautiful, beautiful pen. You've got to respect it. I can't lie. I was originally meant to take third, but Sammy D was like, no, I'm having this. I've got to make sure I've scored. Because, to be fair, we were 2 nil down with two pens missed. Third penalty for Team Cat. Sammy D puts it bottom left. Straight up. Too powerful for the keeper to save. You gotta love it. Angry Ginge steps up. And absolute Brexit penalty. You just couldn't stop it. Brexit penalty from him. Fair play. You gotta respect it. If you didn't know, I missed the penalty last year. Don't talk about it. Listen, we missed the pen. I didn't really highlight it last year because I was kind of embarrassed. But... I didn't miss it too well. Like, the keeper saved it, but it just wasn't powerful enough. Like, it wasn't my usual pen. I was kind of nervous, I can't lie. Jason Dove was literally telling me to hit, to aim for the GoPro. Go bottom right. I step up. I take a deep breath. I step up, and I go and put it bottom right, and I celebrate right in front of the fans. Do the run. Cold. Cow the Dragon steps up and puts it very much into the corner. Like, I can't lie very composed like th this is what i meant cal the dragon actually improved like he didn't really place it last year but now he's actually doing it fair play shout out to cal jtex jtex steps up does a little start and puts it bottom right light work for jtex big baller big baller now adrian in the dark vlogs steps up can he score his pen can he make it five three to them easy light work Light work. I think Joel was tired at this point, to be fair. Aaron Hunt steps up, tries to take the penalty. He said before that he was going to do a Penenka. Is he going to do a Penenka? He tries to place it bottom right. He's so disappointed. He's very, very sad. Danny Aaron's very concentrated this time. Listen, he's not. Listen, he's just, no messing about. Puts it top left. Fair play. you got to give it to Danny Aaron's. Emerson's now stepping up. If he misses... Then we lose. Emerson, you're getting put up for adoption. If you want to know the reason why he did this penalty, he literally just said he was tired. He couldn't be asked. And to be honest, we already lost. We already lost. I, I will bat my brother a little bit, but that was that was disgraceful. Let's be honest. The game's over. We lost. I'm even confronting my brother after. I'm like, what is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Literally, he's asking. <laughs> literally, we all confronted him. We will fight him. I'm joking. In all seriousness, though, what an event it was. What a game. That'll be it for today's video. If you did enjoy it, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Don't forget about the free charity matches. If you can make it to any of them, make sure you go down to the link in the description and get your tickets. Or go down to the link in the description in general to go and watch them. Don't forget to check out my socials like my Instagram, my Twitch, my TikTok, and my Twitter. And don't forget to join the Little Jar Nation Discord server as well. Also, I want to say thank you so much for 60k. You guys are literally the goats. You guys are the best. Soon come 100k. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.